with passion. These were President William Ruto's words as he paid his tribute to the fallen soldier. City of Francis Ogola speaking during the General Ogola's barrio service at Obama Kogelo Primary School. President Ruto said he was proud to have appointed and worked with the fallen CDF. As Brian Amoy now reports, the head of state assured the nation that a probe will be done to ensure give details on what happened to the military chopper that took the lives of Ogola and I and others. We take the program from there. A 19 gun salute, the send off befitting the man Francis Ogola, Kenya's chief of defense forces. President William Ruto mourned the fallen CDF as a great military leader who served his country with passion and unwavering commitment. The president described General Ogola as a consummate military officer, a passionate commander, and a patriot of great humility and integrity. Many people don't understand the loss that we have incurred as a country. Those of you who may not have worked closely with General Ogola as I did, you may not understand the kind of men that we have in this great Kenya. There are very few leaders, there are very few people who can fit in the categorization and the shoes of General Ogola. I say this passionately because I know what Kenya has lost. When I got the news... Speaking during General Ogola's burial service, President Ruto said he was proud to have appointed and worked with the fallen CDF. Was appointed as the CDF in Kenya because of his credentials, his integrity, his professionalism, and he stood tall and deserved the appointment. As I said, I was very proud working with this man, General Ogola. And I know for sure that I made the right decision and if I had another chance to appoint him, I would appoint him again as the CDF of Kenya. As questions on the general's death arise, the president assured the country of a thorough investigation on the cause of the accident that claimed the life of General Ogola and nine others. I know the KDF are as concerned as I am and indeed the family and every Kenyan on the life of General Logola. And I want to assure the country that the KDF, our Kenya Air Force, have the requisite integrity and professionalism to make sure that there will be no shroud of doubt on what happened to General Logola. Having been praised for choosing a Luo as CDF, President Ruto also said tribalism and ethnicity will no longer drive the politics and governance of the country. He said every Kenyan will have an opportunity to serve the nation on account of merit as opposed to tribalism and political affiliation. The head of state took the time to clarify and stress that political assassinations will not happen under his watch even as the nation continues to question how the plane carrying the CDF crossed. Without any fear of contradiction, there shall never be again extrajudicial killings or political assassinations. Brian Amuai, Look Up TV.